And Dying Light 2, there are five total crossbows at the time of me making this video, and each of them have their own stats and features. Now you guys are probably wondering which one of these is the best. In this video, I'll go through all of them and explain all their features and tell you which one you should probably get. Now, before I continue with the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave me a like if you find this video useful and to subscribe to my channel if you find yourself coming back. But anyways, let's get started. Now, starting off with the first one you'll probably get is the PK Crossbow. You can get this by giving away four settlements to the peacekeepers. Settlements being the electrical stations and water towers. In terms of damage, there are three levels of damage. The first one being the most, second being obviously the second, and then the third group that does the lowest. This is part of the third group. So it's pretty much on the low side of damage. Now the crossbow has four shots only. It's semi-automatic and can use any type of bolts. Whether they're toxic, impact, or just the regular bolts, it can use all of them. So it's a pretty good starting crossbow to get, and if you can get it, I recommend giving the first water tower to the survivor so that you don't lose the bazaar. And then the other four, give them to the peacekeepers. Because this thing is really worth getting early on in the game. Next up we have the Hunter's Crossbow from the Huntress. You'll have to do some bounties and do some missions and be able to buy this at rank 9. If you guys want a guide on that, I'll leave an annotation on the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in my description. I'll make sure to leave it as an obvious title. Now in terms of damage, this one might actually do the most amount of damage. Although we'll see when we look at the other crossbows. It has six shots, but unfortunately you can only shoot some specific bolts. You can get these bolts from the Huntress, you'll have to buy them. Or you can do the regular mission and be awarded them. So getting ammo for it is a bit of a pain, it's a bit of a hassle, you can't just craft these. But they do have elemental ones, so it's not too bad. But I personally never use this, mainly because I don't want to grind having to get the bolts from her. But there is a feature that allows you to stun your enemies when you shoot them with this crossbow, so there's that. Next up we have Hakon's crossbow. You can get this from the store. It's available in a bundle, Hakon's bundle. If you guys want more info about the bundle, I'll leave an annotation right here or a link in the description. But back to the crossbow. This thing has four shots. It's on the low level of damage and can use other elemental bolts. The bundle also includes fire arrows, so that's pretty nice. But the unique thing about this crossbow is that it is full auto. So you can shoot four bolts in pretty much less than a second. So if you're taking on volatiles or demolishers, you know, bigger infected, you can kill them pretty quickly with this. Next up, we have the first Pilgrim Crossbow. You can get this crossbow from the Pilgrim Outpost. Just head over to their website, link your account, do some bounties, get some tokens, and then buy it from there. Now this crossbow is like Hakon's crossbow. It's full auto. It uses all the other elemental bolts, so you don't have to worry about ammo. It has this iron sight, but unfortunately only has three bolts. So you'll be reloading a lot with this thing. And in terms of damage, it's also on the low side of damage. And lastly, we have Anubis's crossbow, which you can get from the Anubis Jackal of Death bundle. Once again, an annotation right here or a link in the description. Now this one, in my opinion, is one of the best. It looks amazing. It has seven shots. You can use all types of bolts. And in terms of damage, it's second place, but right here on screen it says that it deals additional damage to infected enemies. So maybe it is a bit more. I don't know. There's not really any stat that shows this. But nonetheless, I think this is the best one and the most worth it one to get. Now that's it for the video. If you guys want to know how you can get your hands on the glitched weapons, weapons that can one-shot or at least two-shot any kind of enemy, click on this video right here. But if you want to check out other bundles, Check out this playlist I made. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you find yourself coming back. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.